So everyone, welcome back to our series, Talking Hair Loss. So we've got 12 people, 12 haircuts, and 12 incredible chats about hair loss. Honest conversations in the barber chair about hair loss, thinning, and receding, with some advice from me along the way. With new episodes coming every two weeks, this is Talking Hair Loss. This series is made possible by our sponsor, Manuel. Hi right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman Studio, and welcome back to Talking Hair Loss with Manuel. Today we've got Andy in the chair. How are you doing, mate? I'm good. I'm you good? good, thank you. Cool. Yeah. So tell me, what, what is it about your hair, hair loss? What is it you want to talk about today, and what is it you're looking to do? Well, I haven't had it cut now for three years okay. and three months. Okay. Never really meant to have it long. Just okay. sort of happened, really. Okay, no worries. So it's just time to um, give it a tidy up. Give it a tidy up, yeah. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm kind of thinking short, maybe not quite as short as yours, but similar. Oh. Okay, so, so more than a tidy up. Oh yeah. yeah a little bit more yeah. than a tidy up. Yeah, okay, so, cool, yeah. no worries, yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah. So in terms of your hair loss, for example, like, what mm -hmm. have you noticed about it or what, what, at what point did you realise you, your hair was starting to recede? It's probably been, I would probably say three or four years now where you, you kind of notice it's going back in the corners, Okay. which it is now, it's been a while. Yeah. So as you can see, you know, kind of going back in the corner there and, and yeah. there. Okay. And I think it's maybe a little bit thin at the, at the back, but it's hard to see really because the hair's so long and it's quite thick. Yeah, there is a little yeah. bit of hair loss. I mean, if you don't mind me asking, yeah. how old are you? Forty-four. So, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's probably it's probably slightly mature hairline, should yeah. we say? And, yeah. and I'm not too yeah. sure. You've obviously it looks like you've got a widow's peak, so that always yes. draws the attention yeah. to a higher yeah. sort of a session anyway. So. Yeah. If you do start to recede in the corners, it always looks a lot worse than what it probably would be. You know, if you yeah. had the maybe if you didn't have the widow's peak, for example. Yeah. Um, so, is it something that bothers you? Like, would you want a haircut specifically to cover the hairline or to to work with the hairline? What if would it would help, be? then fantastic. But it's not massively important. You know, I've, l losing your hair is well not a very nice thing. Of course, of course it is, yeah. Mm. yeah. And again, obviously, with, with you having such long hair as well, it's obviously going to be a big change. Oh, big time. So, yeah. obviously, with yeah. the back as well, you'd probably want to not, even if you're going short, I wouldn't suggest mm. going something as short as mine. Because I think if you yeah. went, if you did go, for example, yeah, yeah. as short as what mine is on the top, mm -hmm. mine's only an inch long. And I think yeah. you would notice the crown quite Definitely. a little, quite a bit. Yeah. Um, in terms of like w with the actual recession through here, mm -hmm. are you looking to try, are you actually looking to try and cover it? Because I know, obviously, when you came in, mm -hmm. you had it tied up. But yeah. as you can see, you've got that kind of side part going mm -hmm. on with the way the hair naturally falls. Yeah. Is that something you'd like to work with and have a shorter version of the side part, for example? Or are you not too fussed about, do you want something a little bit different, like do you want something more textured, would you prefer, would you like to try a fringe, would you like to try like a particular mm -hmm. hairstyle that you've got in mind? Well, or? I've never really had a fringe, so I've got no idea what it would look like, but okay. I'm open to your expertise okay. as well. No worries, I've got no a couple of photos. If yeah, please do, note. yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. So look. what I was finding when it was short last time, because of the recession in the corners, it was sort of coming up into a peak. Mm -hmm. So here's an older picture of me. You know, it was always sort of coming up into a peak in the center. And I'm thinking just because it was going back in the corners, it was just naturally coming into a peak. So if there's something we could do to like, not give it such a, a point, if you know what I mean, in the middle, that sort of bit messy textured on top, it's kind of short on the sides, but not too short. Okay. But really, what can okay. I get away with really is, is the question. I'm not sure mm. what I can or what I can't get away with. Yeah, I mean, I can see where you go. I can see your heads up. Yeah. That's a good thing. I think we've got to be slightly age appropriate and realistic yes. though, because a lot yes. of them guys on there are probably 20s yes. and the hairlines are very different to yours. Def now, definitely. the peak you were talking about in the middle, mm -hmm. that's because the sides were cut too short. Yeah. I can see, if you get, do you want to get that photo yeah, for yeah, me a second? Yeah. I'll, I'll point it out to mm -hmm. you. Your hair's very different now to what that is. The colour's changed. Yeah, it has, might, it looks yeah. very, very thick, extremely thick on that there. Mm -hmm. It's just, it is just the way those peaks that's accentuating that. Yeah, there. yeah. But if you look at them bits there, they're quite short. Mm -hmm. All the way through there, it's quite short. So yeah. I think that's why you were getting the peak. I don't yeah. know whether it was anything to do with the fringe, because mm -hmm. Essentially, if you cut the fringe the same length, it's not going to peak, you know? Yeah. So I think it yeah. might have just be a bit, a bit too short in that corner yeah. compared to yeah. there. That might be why you were getting it. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the pictures you showed me, though, if we can talk about them a yeah, second. Cool. When you say not too short, now, obviously, that whole look is mm -hmm. created like that because of how short the back and sides are. Yeah. That's what accentuates the top being a lot longer. Yeah. So if you wanted something similar to that, for example, mm -hmm. it would be quite hard to replicate if you, if you didn't go as short at the back and sides, because the whole point of that haircut, why it stands out so much, yeah. is the contrast between there yeah, and everyone sure. else. Yeah. So obviously, you'd need to bear that in mind that if you did alter that, it would mm -hmm. be a bit different. And also, obviously, yeah. 
the difference of the hairline is what yeah, creates sure. that fullness yeah, through there as well. So, but in, in terms of that kind of shape, I know what you're trying to look for. You're looking for yeah. something a bit more textured, a bit more messy on top, yeah. and the shorter back and sides. Yeah. Essentially, that's what you're looking for. When you came in, your hair was tied back into yeah. a pony, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So is that how you always wear it? If I'm not at work, yes. Okay, and when you, and so if you are, if you're, if you're not wearing it like that, how do you tend to wear it just as it is now? Yeah, just how it is, yeah. Okay, because I'm just, that, that sort of strikes me that you're not too concerned with the hairline at the front then, mm -hmm. if you're wearing it back, because that completely exposes the hairline. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost of the opinion, you know, it is what it is. Okay. You know? Okay, because because the thing is, it's, it's always nice to try and create a haircut for somebody that, we don't want to expose it as much, uh, too much. Yeah. I think my my more my concern is the back because I feel mm -hmm. like from that photo you showed me there, yeah. that might have gone a bit thinner towards. Yeah, the back. I'm not really sure how the back even looks. It's yeah. been such a long time since I've seen it. Yeah, I'll show you. So it's just you see there, it's getting thinner. Yeah, it's it's not like there is there is some sort of hair loss going on. Mm -hmm. It's just getting thinner at, the, at that, yeah. that crown area, yeah. uh, and I wouldn't want to expose that anymore. And mm -hmm. from your hair texture. I know obviously the shorter you go, the thicker it feels and becomes, yeah. but it looks like your hair texture's changed from mm -hmm. that photograph. And don't forget that, was that photo like five years ago or four years yeah, ago or something? like four, four and a half, five, I would say. It's quite a long time yeah. for your hair to, yeah. your hair can change in texture, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It over, over cycles. Mm -hmm. And I feel like your hair looked darker. It might have just been the light, I don't know, but it looked a bit darker. It is weird because it looks quite like dark here, and then as it goes up, it's getting a little bit more grey. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. But I just feel like the texture of it was, was a, I know it is, you can feel you've got a lot of weight in your hair. You can mm -hmm. sort of see how much it drops, right? There's quite a lot of weight in it. Yeah. So I do feel like the sh when you feel it in a, if you clump your fingers through it like this and you pinch on it, you feel mm -hmm. there's a lot of thickness at the root. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it gets finer towards the ends, and most yeah. people always does, but you can feel there's quite a lot of thickness through there. So mm -hmm. I'm just thinking in terms of a, of a, of a sort of messy textured finish, I think, I, I honestly think you, you could probably get away with something a little bit like, let me see if I can get an image up for you. I feel like Daniel Craig is a good guy to look for, for okay. his style. Because he's the only celebrity I can show you that has got recession and, and embraces it. Mm -hmm. A lot of other people tend to try and cover it or whatever yeah. they tend to do. But Daniel Craig, if you look, Sort of embraces the recession in his hair. Oh yeah, do you yeah. see what I mean? Mm -hmm. It suits him. It looks. He looks his age. Yeah. Doesn't look like he's trying to cover anything up. It doesn't look like he's trying too hard to to do something different with it. Mm -hmm. But I just thought, f based on on his sort of haircut, obviously I I would suggest a bit a bit longer on top. Yes, definitely. for sure. Yeah. But I just feel like something like that would be nice because that's enough length at the back then to still create like some sort of. I feel like something like that would look quite nice on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Along the lines of that. Yeah, it looks cool. Because I feel like you've got, when your hair goes shorter, I feel like you've got the thickness in that to, yeah. to manage it. And I just think that would be a really good sort of starting point to see how it is. Because you can still leave a little bit of length to sit through forward yeah, for the yeah. hairline. Yeah, look, Keep a little good. bit through the recession at the yeah. crown, at the, the temples. Mm -hmm. So I think I think something like that would be would be quite nice if we can try and replicate something yeah, like that. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, does that sound like a, a good idea? Yeah? yeah, sounds good. Cool, awesome. All right then. Well, yeah, let's do that. And uh, you just said at the start you want to donate your hair. Yes. Okay, then no worries. So we'll 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 cut off as much as we possibly can because yeah, we're quite cool. short anyway. But yeah. obviously, you just want to make sure we don't we don't take it all off. Yeah. All right. Cool, man. So before we get into it, we just want to say a massive thank you to the sponsor of this series, Manual. Our first video with Manual worked out so well, and the partnership was amazing. So we wanted to bring more videos to you. So if you don't know, Manual is a British company dedicated to becoming the destination for men's health. Manual offer tailored and medically approved treatments for a variety of issues specific to men's health. And obviously it's the hair loss treatments we're talking about today. Best thing about it, it's all online. You visit the website, you answer a questionnaire about your medical history and receive a treatment recommendation. Your information goes to a specialist doctor on the platform and from there you're consulted on a specific treatment plan for your case. You receive the products at home on a recurring basis and with a medical follow-up throughout. Manual will kind enough to send us some of their products and we've had their hair loss treatments out on the shelf at our Regal Jumping Studio ever since. So let's go over here and see what they've got. So guys, this is the Power Shampoo. This is a, an everyday shampoo, revitalizes your hair. It's got a, a sense of stimulation in there as well so you can really feel it coming, going to work on the hair and the scalp as well. We've got the 5% minoxidil as well. We've also got the finasteride tablets as well and the hair vitamins, which I am currently using as well, and they are fantastic. And Manual have also been kind enough to offer you a discount to celebrate this series on the channel. The code's on the screen now, but it's also in the description if you miss it. And the link to follow is also in the description below. So click that to find out more about Manual and their hair loss treatments, 
And a massive thank you again to Manuel for bringing this series to the channel. So carry on watching this because you get some great advice and you'll also see some really good finished looks for anyone with any sort of hair loss problems. But thanks again, Manuel. It's strange because my oldest daughter is four and a half. Okay. So she's never actually seen me with short hair. Wow. Yeah. That'll be a bit of a shock, I would imagine. <laughs> right, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure? Yes. 100%, yeah? 100%. Okay, dokie. So I feel like my scissors are almost blunt because I've done this many bloody transformations. <laughs> I think I've blunted my scissors over, over time. There we go. Next bit. The next bit. It's very, very thick. It's surprising how thick it is because it doesn't it doesn't feel it at all when you see it. And the final bit through here. There we go. That is uh, that is our starting point, which is perfect. So we'll get this cut nice and short around the back and sides, and then we've got all this to play around with still. All right. Very punk actually, isn't it? You know what I mean? So there we go. Right. So what we'll do. We figured out what we're going to do with the, the look. Yeah. Daniel Craig esque style. Shorter around the back and sides. Again, I'm going to probably do all this like freehand and yeah. cut this in. I'm not gonna, probably not going to put a guard on or anything like that. I think it'll be nicer to do. And then uh, obviously through the top, we'll, we'll keep enough length in there that we can kind of give you a bit of texture, a bit of movement. Still work with the crown. That's why I took it from that section before yeah. at the top because it's still it's created enough length that I can use as a guide. Mm -hmm. And then we'll work through from there. All right. Awesome. So I'm going to give this a shampoo and condition to start with. All right, buddy. Okay. What we're going to do on this one, we're going to start with our horseshoe uh, section on this one because the horseshoe is going to allow me to cut in the back and sides. And the back and sides are like the foundation for the top on this one. So they're going to sort of build up the texture to into the crown, which we want to keep. And then the top is going to be cut down to match into the back and sides. But this is all about creating the, the face shape to match into the head shape. So the thing is, when you've got recession in your hair, you've got to take into account that as part of the face shape because where the temple starts to uh, recede through here it starts to almost like expose the sort of concave at the sides here so we've got to kind of take that into account that we don't want to take this too high because then that will almost protrude out so we almost need to leave a bit of corner so that sits in and it balances a bit more so by taking away the top it allows you to see the the the, the perimeter basically the hairline and then that way we can look at what works for the face shape but nothing that we're trying to cover or anything, you know, not that we're trying to exp expose massively or, or cover massively as well, just something that falls really nicely, I think, for Andy and kind of gives him a gives him the look that he wants. So, um, talking hair loss, how have you found it yourself when, obviously, you notice you started um, having some recession? I guess, you know, it, it can really affect someone's, I want to say, like, self-esteem. You know, I don't think anybody wants to lose their hair, do they? No, not at all. But um, it's just... Sometimes you just have to accept it, you know, it's, it, it's happening. I know there are a lot more things on the market now that help, you know, slow it down or 100%, yeah. reverse it. Definitely, yeah, there's loads of things yeah. you can do now, yeah, for sure, yeah. Mm. Um, I think, I think self-esteem is the biggest one, I think mm. you kick on there, yeah, that's, that's the biggest, uh, that's mm -hmm. the biggest thing I hear, is that yeah. self-esteem is the mm. biggest, uh, the biggest hit at first. Yeah. And then obviously confidence and everything else that yeah, comes along yeah, with it as yeah. well. Did you, was that ever a contributing factor to why you grew it? Not really. No, it was, it was like a last ditch attempt and thought, you know what, I've noticed a bit of recession, I might as well just grow it for... Kind of, I kind of thought, you know, I've always wanted to have it long once in my life. Yeah, yeah. Hair's now starting to recede. If I don't do it now, I probably will never get the chance again. Definitely. Right, I'm gonna start on the back and sides first. I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna keep some length up here. And I'm going to clip or overcomb this because I want to remove bulk and I want to create shape at the same time. And there's no better technique than doing clip or overcomb. Now, we've already got a few guidelines in there from where we took it off from being short. But because we're going quite short, I could get away with kind of taking in the, uh, the, the headband quite, uh, quite tight to the head. To get as much hair there so Andy can donate as much as possible because, you know, there's all the criteria. So I want to try and make sure we can fit in with that criteria. But as you can see, the minute you start layering it in, doesn't even look like we cut that out. I'm working up and letting that collapse in. So we're starting to layer the top section into the back and sides. So again, Andy said he's always had it like short back and sides, essentially. He's always had that kind of shorter back and sides with that texture on the top. Now, we can still give Andy 
the same haircut that he's always had, but with a bit more of a spin based on his face shape and his head shape. Now, that's the beauty of when you get that kind of under control and you find the, the perfect sort of angles, the perfect sort of shape for the client's face. You can then give him the same haircut, but just adapt it a bit more. So that's what I'm trying to do for Andy. I've used Daniel Craig as an, ex as an example because a visual, a visual sort of interpretation of what I'm going to do is always great, especially, you know, it's three, three, three years and three months. I can never forget the three months, Andy. I know, I know, that, I, know I know they were there, they, they were quite important, right? Every, every little counts. Every little counts, of course, of course it does, yeah. So obviously, you know, Daniel Craig is a good, a good indication of the sort of style and shape that we can go for because Daniel Craig is one of, one of the celebrities that I've noticed kind of never really tries to cover up a recession, he never tries to, you know, sort of bring it forward or anything like that at all. He always just seems to have it up and off his face, even at the, you know, with the hairline as being being high as it is. And I thought with Andy obviously wearing it in a in a in a bun for so long and tying his hair back and stuff, it's obviously not a major issue. It's more, I think, the crown is something that I think we need to mm -hmm. we need to do and focus on a bit more because I think that's going to be quite new to him. Yes, it will. Yeah, you know? and uh, and I think we want to try and work with that and make sure that sits in nicely as well for him. And just work it up. So I think just by keeping that little bit of length and taking off the length that we don't need, which is like down the bottom here and stuff, that's always a good way to add that taper in more than doing something that's going to be too extreme, too aggressive. Now this this technique, clipper over comb, I use this an awful lot day to day. Then I'm not sure about yourselves. If if anyone does, let me know. I think it's a great a great technique. Uh, removing bulk, creating shape, and again, it's one of those things where you know if you leave the hair long enough, you'd never even know you've used clippers on it, you know. But I think it's great because you can just focus purely on the angle of the comb. So if you are new to cutting hair and maybe scissor work isn't your strongest point, you can still create some really nice haircuts that don't have to be fades just by using clipper over comb. So you're keeping that length in there, it starts to create that nice head shape. Now bearing in mind. Obviously Andy's had long hair for a while, so his hair's probably not gonna lie as flat as it will do in a few days' time because obviously he's you know it's been been tied back and it's been lying flat and whatever else. So gotta bear that in mind, but I'll blow dry that down in a second and that'll sit all nice and flat for him. But just one thing you gotta remember when you've had long hair for a while, the hair doesn't always lie as you want it to straight away. Dry this down before I start doing any of the tape work and any of the detail on work. Right, so, switching combs onto my clipper comb. This is a wall clipper comb. I'm just going to taper this in like so, just to clean it up a little bit. But again, don't want to go too short. Still using that, that image as a reference, Daniel Craig picture. So if anyone's been watching a little screenshot of that pit of the uh, the point where we use that picture, or go on Pinterest and have a little look at it, so you can kind of see where I'm, what I've referenced and where I'm going with it. Again, if you look at the picture, it's not very close down the bottom. I'll just strengthen up the hairline. Just having a little taper in the bottom just to expose the hairline fully for me. Come from the loop of the ear. I'll just taper this down nicely, so just taper it into nothing. So I'm just starting on the top. So working from the crown, we obviously we cut it before. I cut it at that point to take a lot off, right? Because I wanted the crown to be sort of a starting point of where I can cut it to. So obviously we're kind of making sure we keep some coverage through there, but also I want to be able to create some texture as well. So I think that's enough length that will keep it nice and covered. Then just working in one finger with sections just to the front, just to create a bit more length down the bottom. But also, I want to start putting some texture in there as well. I'm working into a, a more messy finish for Andy as well. So the, the main basis is just the shape, you know, that's that's the main thing. The, the, the finishing is just something I can show him, it'll take him a few, few minutes to do, and then that's kind of him gone then. So it's all about the shape really, that we're cutting into this. It's so incredible how the sides look like really wide at the moment. I'm sure you, you look at them thinking they look really wide, but when the top is cut into it, it just balances perfectly, you know? And then 
everything falls into that kind of like more natural, messy finish going forwards, which I think will be quite nice for you. Keep the fringe up and off your face, which you've been having done, just a little bit more, you know, a bit more messy. Mm-hmm. I think you were saying as well, you know, obviously by wearing a, what you said before it was quite interesting when you said um, it, when you had your long hair, it was a bit, a bit of a waste because you were just tying it back, yeah, you know? Yeah. So essentially the way I see it is that this is almost like, you know, this is the same finish as you tying it back, mm-hmm. just with texture going on. So yeah, it's not yeah. that huge of a difference, mm-hmm. if you get what I mean, of how it makes your face look. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's just like, you know, it's just being able to do something with it now mm-hmm. and have, you know, still have it off your face and still have it, you know, something going on there. I always say this, but the, the sound when it's quiet and you've got the music on because we're filming and the hair falls on the gown, it sounds so dramatic. <laughs> but how does it feel so far, having it all cut off? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I probably need a bit of advice on what sort of um, product to use because all the stuff that I did have, you know, three and um, three months ago, <laughs> it's all been chucked out, so of course, I've yeah. got nothing. It's probably gone off as well, so. Yeah, it probably has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, the, the products you want to be looking at is like clays, mm-hmm. um, pastes, things like that, you know? They're the kind of products you want to go for. You want mm-hmm. something that's going to be matte. Yes. Easy to easy to manage. Yeah. Um, I think you, 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 want, you want something that's pliable, you know, something you can run your fingers to. I don't mm-hmm. need to be precious with it, you know? You, yeah. to, you know, if you think about what you, your autopilot's been like, where you've been tying your hair back and you've been running your hands through your hair quite a lot through the day, mm-hmm you're probably going to do that naturally anyway yeah. because you're used to it. So if you've got a style that is, you know, achievable to put back into place or to still, mm-hmm. you know, if you run your hands through it, it still looks nice and messy. Yeah. And obviously the product that matches, so it can be, you know, messed about and whatever mm-hmm. else, then that'll obviously help with, uh, I think, the longevity of, the, of you maintaining this look as well. Mm-hmm. Pull it back to the recession. Okay, then. Interesting what your daughter thinks when you go home. <laughs> like you said, she probably won't remember you having short hair. I sort of asked her like, over the, like, the last few weeks, so do you think I should keep it long or do you think I should have it cut short? And she's, I think she changes her mind like five or six times a day, so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the last thing you want is tears, though. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. I had the fear I was going to get that. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, oh no, she's going to. Mm-hmm. Sorry, dude. I'm on, a, I'm on a bus cut, man. You know. <laughs> but no, it's um, it is it's 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 interesting how like sort of the difference somebody can look with like yeah just yeah. a bit of length in the hair, even just keeping someone on the back and sides, it can it can change you so mm-hmm. much. It really can. I never I never it never ceases to amaze me sometimes how different someone can look with a haircut. Yeah, some of the transformations I've seen, you know, on the channel have been amazing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They really have. Into the sides. Into the top, like so, by keeping some length in there at the same time. Like that. You just want to keep some nice head shape in there as well. So, what we'll do is cutting the fringe now as well, so we can kind of give the shape at the front. Cutting this to match what I think is a good length for everywhere else.
cut the weight behind this room as well. And then texturize that. Take a bit more weight off the front now. So what products were you using here before you um what else? I was kind of experimenting really, but never really found anything which I really found worked well, if I'm honest. Oh really? Okay. Um, what did you find you struggled with? Well, as you said earlier, really, you know, I really always go for like a matte finish yeah. with my hair and it was always hard to kind of judge, you know, what you were really buying because yeah. there are so many different variations in you know, a matte or clay mm. all that sort of stuff. You're not yeah. really ever 100% sure what, what you're buying. Yeah, true. Mm. So what I'll do is I'll start it out for you, so you okay. can kind of see how it all finishes off, mm -hmm. and then you'll be able to see how the top looks, how easy it is to style. So this is a clay, right? You don't need to use an awful lot, just about that much, okay? Mm -hmm. and that washes out really easily as well. Main thing is with this is that it's all about how easy it washes out. That's okay. all you want to do, yeah. okay? So, make it through your hands, like so. Now I'm gonna start just before the crown, right here. I'm gonna work this into your fringe as well. You've got that length coming through there, right? Work it through the back and sides, because you've still got length in the back and sides, and then finally into the crown. Now, we don't do too much, we're just gonna move the crown around a little bit, okay? Just a touch, just to bring it into play. Mm -hmm. The main focus is just having that heavy, thick texture on the top, which I think your hair looks super thick now, mate. Mm -hmm. Like, really thick, yeah. compared to what I thought it would be like when mm -hmm. you, you sat down, right? Yeah. Over a little bit, just nice and textured. Bin these little bits down so it falls in nicely, but keep that height at the front. Mm -hmm. Front and the back and sides down. And then let that crown move about. And the crown just looks like you've got a crown. It doesn't look like you've tried too hard for the look. I think it looks very lived in. I think it's a really easy style to have. I think yeah. it suits you as well. Yeah, really happy. Which is the main thing. Mm -hmm. So it's just very lived in. So what you've got is a kind of, you know, Nice textured finish, mm -hmm. so you're, st you're still working with the hairline, so yeah. you're trying to cover anything up or trying to hide anything. Yeah. Gives you, a, I think, an age-appropriate look, mm -hmm. but also at the same time, it gives you a very nice textured, loose haircut that is really super easy to manage for yourself as well. So yeah, just uh, get used to putting product back in it now, know, right? That's the main I thing, know. really. Get used to wearing it. But mm -hmm. I'll show you the back and sides as well, so you can see how it looks. So, I'll lift you up a little bit. So, that was a free hand on the back and sides. Yeah, really happy. So it's sitting nice and yeah, tight. It's really good. Crown looks fine. Crown looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks all right. Yeah. But just keeping that little bit of length on top just creates a bit more fullness, I think, yeah. to, the, to the hair as well. And makes it just become more manageable. Yeah. Essentially. Nice little natural taper towards the edges, but I think everything looks nice. The hairline yeah. looks fine at the front. Yeah, really like it. It's great. It's looking all right, isn't it, mate? Yeah. It's looking all right. Very different to what it was like when it was long, even just in texture. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised how different it is in texture. I've always been told that it is thick. Oh yeah, yeah, it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you haven't got that peak that we were talking about? Yeah. Remember you were right, saying that yeah. you got that? You know, we yeah, have that, and that there's no point? peak in, in the middle. There's yeah. no peak in the middle, yeah. no. There's no point because by cutting the edges in mm -hmm. and creating the shape, yeah. that's how you create that very nice yeah. natural texture on top as well. So really, really don't get a top happy. heaviness still, mm. but something that still looks yeah. manageable and easy to do. So without the aggressive kind of short back and sides that, yeah. kind of, yeah. that were on the other, the other hair. Cause I just feel like it might have been a bit too much, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Dead easy to style as I showed you, just blast it through with a hairdryer, bit of clay, 
And that's pretty much it. There's not there's nothing to it really. I think it'll be a very easy thing to it's like an, an easy sort of transition from uh, long to to short. Mm. I think personally. So just give a give that a go and see how you get on with it, mate, and see what everyone thinks when you go home. <laughs> that's the main thing. Mm. Thanks, Andy. That was brilliant. Thank you very that much, was mate. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching our Talk and Hair Loss episode with Manuel. Um, the rest of the videos are here. You can have a little look, and obviously we've got loads more uh, to choose from as well to have a little look through for any style recommendations, or uh, if you are struggling with any sort of hair loss, we've got some fantastic bits of advice through our other videos as well. So don't forget to subscribe, and uh, give us a comment if you like the video. Thanks, guys.